guys welcome back to the channel so today guys we're going to be talking about everything you need to know before coming to school here in delta states okay we're going to be talking about cost of accommodation cost of feeding cost of transportation electricity water just everything you need to know before coming to school here in delta states okay so if you're someone looking to apply for any of the institutions here in delta states this video is going to be of help to you and if you know anyone that is interested in any of the higher institutions here in delta states please share this video with them because you never know who you be helping okay yeah before we go into the video i've made a dictated video on how to register for your jam and pursue me into any of the higher institutions here in delta state check the link in the description box for that video okay so now let's dive right into the video talking about accommodation let's start with the most popular university here in delta state which in my opinion is abraka despite the fact that delta state has a lot of university now abraka delta state university abraka delsu still remains the number one okay now everybody knows right from time the cost of accommodation in abraka is really expensive okay so now nowadays you don't even get one room apartment okay one room apartment where you have public toilet and public bedroom what you get nowadays is mostly bed sitters that is studio apartments we call them bed sitters here in delta state so these bed sitters are what you get most of the time even people that have one room apartment the landlords and landladies they've started renovating their one room to studio apartment so what you get most of the time is studio apartment that is bed sitter okay now for studio apartment you have to pay you have, you have to have up to 150,000 naira for you to rent a studio apartment here and the rent the money depend the cost of the apartment depend on how close the, the the hostel is to school how close the hostel is to the road and the facilities they have in the hostel some hostels they pay up to 180k some pay up to 200 some even pay up to 220k for studio apartment in abraka so yeah and some hostels they don't allow roommates okay some hostels they don't allow roommates and those of them that allow roommates they they ask you to pay extra money so let's say you're paying 150k for the hostel accommodation if you have a roommate you guys will have to pay 170k that is 20k addition to the 150k okay so yeah most hostels they don't allow roommates and yeah most of the universities in delta state they come with school hostel they come with school hostel but a lot of us a lot of people don't like school hostel i include so yeah most what i'm talking about now is outside the school hostel like if you're renting apartment outside the school hostel okay so yeah 150k and this, this is for like hostels that are not very very close to the school so this 150k you still have to pay like transport fare to the school depending on how far the, the if you cannot trek depending on how how far the hostel is to, from the school so but if you want hostels that are very very close to the school you have to pay like up to 180 up to 200 or 220 okay now for agbo for agbo guys the cost of apartment is really really becoming high here in agbo okay it's becoming really high some hostels now a lot of the hostels because of the new university there eh, most of the hostels the landlords and landladies are already like giving everybody quick notice even my hostel they give us quick notice and now once they renovate the hostels every Everything will be on the high side normally what we pay before then you used to pay like 80k 70k 90k but now some hostels in aliami you have to you have to hold your 150k okay you have to have up to 150k to rent studio apartments in aliami because aliami is the village or becoming a town now the town that houses the university that's the main campus right so in aliami you have like 150k for studio apartment then if you want to like you know if you want the ones that are very close to school you have to hold up to your 150 170 okay and with all those prices if this if this is your first time like if that you renting the apartment today is the first time you're renting the apartment you have to pay like caution and agreement fee and then you have to pay agent fee so let's say your rent is 150k before you finish paying your agent fee caution ag agreement everything will be up to 180k for the first year then the second year you can start paying that is if you are still retaining the hostel you can start paying 150k so in Agbo, you have to hold your 150k for studio apartment that is best sitter the same thing with worry if you're schooling in a if you want to school in full pre federal university of petroleum resource or even a pti you have to hold your 150k for studio apartment and depending on how close the place is to school how close it is to the road and the facilities they have in the hostel how clean and, and, and neat the hostel is so depending if this or everything is on points you have to hold your like up to 200k for studio apartment okay some places in Agbo they allow roommates they allow roommates sometimes but most of the time they don't allow roommates okay they don't allow roommates so yeah that is it then for Ozoro you still have to hold up to like 
100, 120, 150, let's say 150 for your studio apartment. And then for places like Asaba, that is the Denis Osadebe University, the one in Awain, you still have to hold up to 150k for your studio apartment. That is your best sitter, okay? Then for places like Ogwashi, you can still get best sitter for like 80k, 70k, 80k, 90k, up to 100k for studio apartment in Ogwashi, cool. okay? So that's it for accommodation. Now let's talk about feeding, guys, the cost of feeding. Let's start with Abraka again, because Abraka is the, is, the main, is the main place. Now, Guys, right from time, the cost of feeding in Abraka is high, okay? I'm not even trying to, like, I love Abraka, I love the vibe, I love the school, I love everything, but the fact that the cost of living there generally is expensive, okay? So the cost of food stuffs in Abraka is on the high side compared to other places here in Delta State. So let's say you're buying uh, a paint of rice for, for, depending on the type of rice, let's say you're buying the one of... Uh, 2,800 Naira, a basket for 2,800 Naira in Agbo. Places in Abraka, you have to pay like 3,000 Naira or 3,100 Naira or even 3,200 Naira for that same basket of rice or paint of rice that you pay for 2,800 Naira in Agbo. So like with Abraka, you have to like add like 200 Naira or even 300 Naira addition to whatever you're budgeting if you're using the budget for Agbo. Then they say worry if worry is not even like to me worry is normal com compared to like abraka okay so if the basket of rice is 280 in Ambo, you can still get the basket of rice for 2800 in worry okay food stuffs life size generally in worry is just normal in my opinion okay so you can still get it for 2800 or maybe 2900 like last last 2900 if you know how to bargain okay then for places like asaba places like asaba if you're getting a basket of rice for like for 2800 naira in Agbo, places like Asaba, you can get it for like 3000 naira. 3000 naira. So, Asaba, you can like add like 200 naira, 100 naira, or even 150, like max 200 naira addition. Okay, it can't even be up to 300 naira, like Abraka. Then, for for Ogwashuku, guys, Ogwashuku is is expensive again because like expensive like let's say you're buying the same price with asaba if you're buying the basket of rice for like 2900 or 3000 naira in asaba that's the same price you get it in uh, Ogwashuku. Then for Ozoro, the same thing with Wari, the same price with Wari. If it's 2900 in Wari, the same price 2900 in Abra in Ozora, okay so yeah that's it but guys i'm not going to talk more on the cost of food stuffs because i've gone to different places here in delta state i've gone to asaba i've gone to abraka i've gone to worry i've done videos in different markets okay these different places i've done videos i've gone to this different places their markets to buy food stuffs and i made a dictated video on the cost of the food stuffs okay i went to abraka main market bought food stuffs took you guys along and then gave you guys like a detailed account and then even worry i went to markets in worry to do the same thing i went to obogonogo market in asaba and then i went to different markets here in Agbo to buy food stuff just to give you guys the cost of food stuffs here in delta state okay so i'll put a link to those videos in the description box but if those videos are not out by the time you're watching this video make sure to you will know watch out for those videos okay so that's it on the cost of food stuffs now let's talk about transportation guys abraka again transportation is high compared to other places in Delta State, okay? Places that they normally go for like 100 Naira before the first scarcity and increment in price, you you now go, you you pay like 200 Naira for that same place. Like, the increment, they don't even add like 50 Naira addition, 200 Naira straight, they just added 100 Naira addition. So where you normally pay 100 Naira is now 200 Naira. So let's say a distance like, yeah, just 200 Naira. So if you're going to school, budget like 400 Naira. That is 200 going, 200 coming. So if you are two, maybe they can manage to carry the two of you for that 200. But sometimes if you bargain very well, they can carry only you for 150, then two people for 200. So if you are two, you can pay 200 while you guys are going, then your partner will pay 200 while you guys are coming. So that's it. Then worry places that you normally go, like transportation in worry is normal, even with the first scarcity, okay? Places that I normally go for, like I pay for 100 Naira, now is 150 okay so places that they will carry you 200 in abraka they will pay they will carry you 150 in abraka in worry so let's say you're paying 200 naira for a particular distance in abraka that same distance you will pay 150 in worry so transportation in worry is just normal to me and then for ozoro 100 naira 150 max depending on where you're going to then places like asaba the transportation in asaba is still okay to me the same price with worry this time that they will carry you in um abraka for 200 they will carry you 
you pay the same 150 for asaba okay here in agbo guys the transportation is becoming very high it's really becoming high okay places that they will carry for 100 naira is now 200 let's say now you are at the school the main campus the school gates from the main campus the school gates to garage market where you get food stops it's 200 naira normally do you pay 100 naira before but now it's 200 naira and they will even be doing yanga for you if you want to price they will just zoom off with with so much disrespect they will zoom off just to embarrass you okay so yeah transportation in agbo is becoming high places you pay um 150 in worry you pay 200 naira here in agbo okay and then places like ogwashi ogwashi is the same thing with abraka the transportation is expensive like i went to ogwashi last two weeks saturday i came back last week saturday guys i can't tell you how much i spent on transportation like the transportation there is high where i would normally pay 150 in worry i'll pay 200 naira in ogwashuku so yeah that's it for transportation now let's talk about water guys water if you're schooling in delta state here and guys then water is not a major issue like delta state has water okay we give god the glory for that we have water so if you're schooling in places like ozoro you have water except um your hostel something happened to the pumping machine there's no water then you can you know it's just a matter of going to your neighbor the next hostel to beg, beg water okay you just go to places they, some most of the time they have well so you go to the well and fresh water so water is not a major issue in places like ozoro worry the same thing if you if people don't have water because most of the time most of the hostels come with water so am i why am i going to be paying this amount of money if there's no water in the hostel so majority of the time you get water in these hostels so but if something happened per adventure like the pumping machine got spoiled you guys will just go to just a matter of going to your neighbor to ask for water you don't pay for water in worry on ozora even in abraka you don't pay for water most of the hostels they come with water some come with two tanks three tanks okay some even come with well like some places not even in the hostel like outside you can get well so yeah you don't pay for water in uh, abraka there's water and then in Agbo, the same thing you don't pay for water there's water in Agbo. most of the hostels come with water okay like my hostel we have up to two tank we still have a big well so there is water if they do not bring lights we can use our own uh, generator like big gen to pump water so but let's say something happened you guys are not able to pump water in your hostel you can just go because here in Agbo, they have places like they have some compounds they they build like tap outside that people can come and fetch water and pay money but the money is just little amount let's say i'll insert a gallon here like this gallon this liter of gallon you're seeing here you can pay 20 naira or 30 naira for this liter of gallon to fetch water here in agbo so it's not really expensive the same thing with uh, um asaba asaba getting water is not is a water there's water in asaba so you're not going to lack water when you school in asaba that is the osaribe university but in ogwashiku guys there's no water in ogwashi okay so if you're like me because i can't survive without water i cannot live with i cannot live without water i can't manage water so like i went to ogwashi last two weeks saturday came back last week saturday guys just for that one week i spent 1500 naira on water not drinking water not pure water just uh, water for cooking washing and bathing i spent 1500 naira you see the same gallon i showed you that you can pay 20 naira here in agbo or 30 naira in ogwashi is 100 naira for this same liter of um liter of gallon okay so the same liter you can pay you pay 100 naira because agwashi they don't have water most of the time they buy water from asaba transport it you know those um they put water in the tank transport it from asaba to ogwashi and then you know put it into their own tank and start selling it's very difficult to get water from their soil so they Ogwashi they don't have water okay so for this liter you have to you pay 100 naira for one liter for me the first time i pay i bought um, five times 500 naira the second time five times 500 naira the third time five times 500 naira when the last one finished i'm like you know what obianije una just carry my bag home straight i can't deal with this life okay so Ogwashi there's no water so if you're like me you cannot manage water <laughs> Um, well, you go try it because uh, if you must survive you must know how to manage water and then let's talk about light okay light in delta state i feel the light in delta state is just the same with e everywhere else here in nigeria okay the light is 50 50 so except you have your own generator that that is when you can enjoy light okay let's say in a month you can get light up to like two to three weeks like two to three weeks and the two to three weeks is not as if it's like constant without them taking it to they will take it they will take it maybe sometimes they regulate it sometimes they can say 12 a.m to 4 4 a.m in the night you have light 
then they take it. Sometimes they'll say 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. They will, they will bring the light and then they take it by 4 p.m. So sometimes they regulate it. Sometimes they have constant light. Sometimes you don't have constant. So the light is 50-50 um, generally here in Delta State. Okay. Now let's talk about road. Let's talk about road, guys. See, most of the... Most of the places here in Delta State where these universities are or these higher institutions are, are in villages. And most of these villages where they are building hostels are mostly inside the layouts, new layouts. And these new layouts, they don't really have like good roads to these new layouts. You know, new layouts now is always very sandy, you know, because development is just getting to these places. So these new layouts, if your hostel is very, very far from the school, you have to trek a distance to where you can even get vehicle to take you to the school. So yeah, it's not the road here is okay. Delta State, we don't really, we don't have the best road. We we still don't have the the worst road in Delta in Nigeria. So it's just normal. Like there are some places, there are some places you rent accommodation. You see that the road is very good. If it's close to the road, you will not have problem. But if it's very very far inside, you have to trek a distance. And sometimes during the rainy season, you have to like you know struggle a little bit to get to the road. And that is it. Now let's talk about network, guys. I will advise that before renting any accommodation in any of the schools, any part of Delta State ask them ask the agents ask anyone please what kind of network works here like which kind of network they work for here because if you don't ask that means you'll be buying sim card every day okay so you have to ask them which network could they work for here because there are some places you will go to in these villages or these different places that the schools are located they will tell you our ah, mtn does not work here and sometimes you go they will tell you our ah, glow does not work here it's only mtn so you need to ask okay you need to ask so that you you know be on the safer side all right so yeah that's it okay so now let's talk about security okay guys let's talk about security talking about security here in delta state i will tell you that delta state is one of the safest places to be here in nigeria okay it's one of the safest places here in nigeria delta state i'm not saying we are 100 percent um secure like there's no insecurity of course there's insecurity but it's just I feel is one of the safest places here in Nigeria, okay? So the thing is, you just have to be careful. You just have to be careful. You don't have to go, like, stay out late. If you don't have any business being out late at night, you shouldn't be, okay? If you are, like, if you know that there are some dangerous places, you shouldn't be going, like, you don't have any business being there. You shouldn't be there. So you just have to be careful, okay? You have to be careful. Of course, the night life here is good. It's really nice. You can, here in Agbo, you can stay out at night, especially in Aliyam. You can stay out at night, like, up to 11 p.m. So maybe we'll stay up to 12 a.m. But yeah, if you don't have any business being out late, why be out late? Okay, but like places in Ozoro, you can stay up to like 9, 10 outside, you know, and then even when you worry, up to 11 p.m., you can be outside. Even sometimes some people stay up to 12. But if you don't have any business being outside 12, what are you doing outside? So yeah, even in Abraka, the night life there is still very much okay. So the same thing, like the night life in Asaba is really, really good, okay? In Asaba, you can stay up to 12 a.m. Like, but I'm still saying, if you don't have any business being out late at night, why should you do that? Okay, and then if you know there are dangerous places that you shouldn't be going to why go there okay so yeah that's the data state is just normal it's not the safest place in nigeria but it's one of the safest places in nigeria you get what i'm saying so yeah yeah so that is it okay and then let's talk about like the overall um you know overall feel of the school the environment the extracurriculum activities guys if you come to school here in delta state you're gonna have fun there are so many activities so many places you can go to like abraka they have a lot of places you can you know have fun like the makati beach they have they have a lot of beach in abraka they have a lot of restaurants beautiful places clubs like so many places you can go and have fun Fun, especially during the weekend nah okay like i feel like because of the extracurriculum activities the different things different places they have in abracada you can go and have fun most of the students get carried away with the fun and then forget why they came to school but yeah they have a lot of places you can go and have fun the same thing with worry they have a lot of clubs good places like so many places you can go and have fun good restaurant beautiful you know just places agba too agba has a lot of places you can you know go hang out enjoy yourself the agba water park is there like if you have money you will enjoy your stay here in the state okay you have a lot of places to explore like the etio river so many things asaba has a lot like if you come to school here in delta state you're gonna enjoy but places like ogwashi i there's no much thing to do in ogwashi because like they have like little restaurants here and there but there's no like major major places that you can go to and have fun so yeah that's it i think ogwashi has still has a long way to go but i know with time they will get there okay so yeah that's it with delta state 
if it's cool here, you're going to enjoy your stay here, honestly. Of course, it's going to be both ups and downs, bro. Yeah, I pray for you that your ups be higher than your downs, okay? So, yeah, that's it for this video. If you want a dictate, I've made a dictated video about, you know, how to apply for any of the universities the jam the post me check the link in the description box and then watch out for the video on the cost of food stuffs here in delta states different parts of delta states at sabah agbo Wari, abraka different places okay yeah i went to different markets bought food stuffs at those different markets just to show you the cost of food stuffs okay yeah so watch out for those videos and please like this video so that more people can see it subscribe to the channel okay make it official by subscribing to this channel join the mirror mode join the double m gang okay join the double m gang subscribe to this channel like this video so that more people can see it please do not forget to share okay share with your friends your families just anyone you know that this video will be of help to them please share with them okay and leave me a comment in the comment section if you have any question please put it down in the comment section i'll do my best to answer all of them okay if you have any video requests put it down in the comment section okay i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye peace out stay blessed